look at this awesome valley down here. I don't know what valley this is, but uh, we just started a really fast descent. And uh, I hated to stop, but I wanted to get a shot of this, this valley that I assume we're going down into. This is the first rest stop. We've come about 20 some odd miles here, so we're going to refill with a little bit of stuff here and getting some funny looks from these people. <laughs> now this is a change in scenery. We went through Hyopam, lovely little valley. Now we got a humongous climb. Up ahead is Mike, who lives in Hay Fork and organized this. But you can see the vegetation is very different. Excuse the shaking, because it all burnt over some years ago. Over there is the road we came down, or I came down, into Hyopam. You can see the valley below. Now we're climbing up the other side. Well, I've left the burnt area behind. And uh, this is a relentless climb going up 3,000 feet. And uh, now we're in a lovely forest. That burnt area had been burned back in the early 90s. Ruth is always saying I don't take time to smell the flowers. So I found these flowers here, and this is for you, honey. I'm coming down and taking time to smell the flowers. Oh, that's wonderful. And you wonder how I'm doing this? I found a bear who was willing to stop and let me you take a picture for her. I'll see ya. Okay. Well, I've reached the top, at least this climb. And uh, now we got some righteous downhill for a while. Boy, that was an awesome descent. Probably could have come all the way down without touching my brakes at all, but I didn't know the curves. The hardest thing was staying in a tuck for so long. I would finally have to come up out of the tuck position once in a while. But what a kick and then past some farmhouse way out here in the boonies, nothing around it. Well, we've got some mellow road here. Just a gorgeous forest. Birds singing in the trees. It's not an old growth forest. It's been logged before. Still, uh, still fun to ride. Way off to my left, I can see where it burned some time ago. These last few miles have been brutal. <clears throat> I climbed and climbed until I came to a point that said 21 miles to Hay Fork. And I thought, oh good, it'll be some good downhill. But about 100 yards of downhill, and then we climbed and climbed and climbed. And uh, it looks like I'm almost to the top. We'll see. But you can see how high up we are in this country. It's, uh, it's huge. Just look out there. You can see uh, where there's been fires. I'll tell you, this is wild, wild country. Uh, it's about 15 minutes since the last video, and I thought I was almost to the top. And you can see this puppy does not end. It just climbs and climbs and climbs. At some point I'll be downhill, but Lordy, when will that be? Holy crap, I think I'm at the top. At least there's a descent here. But I hesitate to get my hopes up. Oh, here comes the rider. Let's catch him going down. Hey. Everything all right? Oh yeah, I'm just taking pictures. Thank you. Awesome. There he goes. Or does he? Yeah. <laughs> well, the major descent is over. And now we have about four miles, I understand, of this dirt road, which is actually quite nice. Much better than gravel. 
kind of kind of pleasant. Um, Hay Fork. Maybe three miles to go, but we're getting out on into the flats. Oh man, what a ride. Not there yet, but almost there. Yeah. Yeah, here we are out in the meadows. I don't know if you can see that hawk flying there. Oh, just a little hill up there. I'm gonna drop into Hayford. Well, we're leaving Hayfork. What a great adventure I had with that ride. I think I'll come back again because that was just, just a fabulous ride. Incredible scenery. And I have to tell you, it was challenging me for, for me. <clears throat> but check this out. You had a choice of riding 65 miles or 115. Turned out the 65 was closer to 70. But one of the guys from Grass Valley, Frank, rode the 115 in the same amount of time I rode the 65. Unbelievable. Anyway, we're out. Goodbye.